Kelly and Megan. Now listen, you put these girls together and they can make a party. They yes. can make uh, beautiful things happen. Y'all y'all just have good taste. Well, thanks, Allie. Allie. To, I'm telling Megan, listen, and for <laughs> many years, um, I always wondered about Christmas Roundup because I feel like it's a premier show. I feel like it's a local show. And then you said it's for the Emerald Museum of Art. Correct. That made it all make sense. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So Absolutely. how are you, first of all? Well, you look doing cute. great. You look great too, honey. Well, you're sweet, listen. Halloween about killed me. Uh huh. Too Same. much. I figured. I was like, whoa, too much candy. <laughs> well, now I'm in uh, the spirit Christmas, and I think y'all do this kind of on mm -hmm. purpose to yeah. get everyone ready. Well, you know, we want to get make sure that everybody kind of gets a head start on their Christmas shopping, gets in gear, you know, and this is the 43rd year, right, Kelsey? Yes, we're super excited. So it's our 43rd year. We have two full halls this year. Oh. It runs um, Friday the 3rd through Sunday the 5th. Um, and we'll kick it off um, on Friday at noon with Red's Early Bird. Um, and then Friday night we'll have a party, Christmas in the Quarter, 5 to 8. Um, admission Ooh. is $10, um, but it's good all weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Um, children 12 and under, free. So let me, let's, talk, let's start out with Friday night. Mm -hmm. I yeah. saw this, and when I saw Christmas in the Quarter, I know Megan uh, in New Orleans. Kelly, you are also spent time yes. in New Orleans. I'm from Louisiana. Uh, you are? You're yes. from Louisiana? She's from, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So this is going to be a fun time. Oh, yes. Who can come, and how do we, what are we looking at? Well, I mean, every anybody can come. It's free with your ticket, your general admission ticket. So if you buy that $10 ticket on Friday morning, you can stay all day, you can shop all day and hang out on Friday night too. But it's going to be a really fun party. We're going to have great, uh, you know, hors d'oeuvres, some cocktails, great raffle prizes. Um, we're even going to have some great live music, aren't we? Yes, we're going to have some great live music. And then also we're bringing back this year Art in Action. So we'll have some local oh, artists um, creating live art. It'll go into our silent auction, which ends on Sunday, and people can bid on it. Yeah, so that's really exciting. So big. Yeah. I feel like this show y'all have been working on since last year's. We do. This is how yeah, big yeah. of an endeavor. We start yeah. working on it like the minute it ends in November. Um, after we wrap up that weekend, we start thinking about who's going to come back the next year. And we work. We have a great committee full of folks who are really committed to this, and we do it year after year. So we're real, real proud of it. But uh, we, I want to mention a couple of things. Okay. Can I show please, you some of the stuff please. that you're going to see? Yeah, I want you to. Okay. So M Street Studio is going to be there. She is on Premier Row in the South Hall. Um, she's a local gal. She makes beautiful purses and beautiful jewelry. These are some of her new ones. Everybody always looks forward every year to see what exactly Becca is going to bring, what new bag she's going to bring. And so this is going to be uh, her kind of her theme this year. So They're we're beautiful. really, really pumped yes. about her. So you'll have to check out her. Handmade. Yes, Handmade. yes, yes. Yeah. And her jewelry this year is impeccable. It's really? so beautiful. Um, if you follow her on social media, you can see like what she's doing with gemstones and things this year. And it's really, really cool. And it's neat to be able to watch the process as well. So M, M Street Studio. M Street Studio. So you want to check that Perfect. out. And then this is Brit Times Bex. This is a new merchant for us this year. These are two local gals as well. Um, one of them is a graphic designer and sort of a creator by trade. The other is an artist and she does beautiful watercolor paintings. Um, but they sort of combined their efforts. And now they have these great products, stationery, notepads, Christmas wrap, oh, these really cool yeah. gift ideas. Um, they, uh, there's, you know, there's an OU m coffee mug that I've got my eye on, but if you prefer Texas Tech, it has, you know, little snapshots of all the great things in Lubbock, great emerald things, so that's a great gift idea as well. Look so, at her wrapping paper, how Isn't sweet. it so cute? So well, that's what Becca makes, the, does all the designs, and then Brittany makes, you know, the graphic part of it. Does that make sense? Oh, yes. I don't know. They're, they're way smarter than I am, so anyway. <laughs> and then lastly, i got to <laughs> point these out to you, Allie. Okay. Um, these are two sisters in Amarillo, Amberly and Ashley of Rough and rags and they wanted to find a way to get their dog something really cute to wear and so they started creating these bandanas cute. and they're cool because they have little elastics oh, on them. Oh, see the, like, yeah, look, yeah, at, the, yeah, look yeah. at the back. Yeah, yeah. <gasps> so they've got some great holiday inspired designs that they're going to oh, have and you look. can even get them personalized at the market. So really want you to check out Rough and Rags, and they're new to us this year as well. Oh my yeah. goodness, look, this one says official turkey taster. Yes, yeah. so cute, so cute. Uh, and then also, live. Kel, why don't you talk about these Reds bags? These are so cool. So our first hundred shoppers, so like I said, we open at noon on Friday, our first hundred shoppers in line will get this bag. Um, there's some really, really great items in it this year. So this is just a couple of them. There's some notepads, a gift tag, um, a glass ornament, um, a devotional, some really, really cool things, and that's just a snapshot of the little. There's going to be about 30, 35 items Ooh. in it. Yes.
first so hundred get in shoppers. Line. You got to get in line. We have a long line that kind of starts early at Red's Early Bird. So I wanted to get ask there. about that. Mm -hmm. How early? Like what? How early has it? Uh, do people start to line up. You know, well, we've been there at eight in the morning, yeah. and we've had people waiting. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so it, it starts early, and the line goes out the door. So get oh there first. Oh my gosh. It's yes. so fun, though, you know. And it's all for such a great cause for the Emerald Museum of Art. This is our largest fundraiser every single year. We get to donate thousands and thousands of dollars back to the museum to help support art education for both our littles and for senior citizens. And we do a lot of great outreach programs both in the museum and we go out to schools and different organizations. So it's a really wonderful way to get a jump start on your Christmas shopping, but also to do a great, you know, do great work for our area. I'm really, really proud. 43 years. Yeah. I'm, pr I'm really proud of y'all because uh, before my my TV life, <laughs> I didn't realize what I thought, man, Christmas Roundup is really a great one. And now I know, I mean, so yes. many good people Come giving see back. Us. Yeah. Yes, we have so much fun too. So much fun. There's lots of things to shop for. It's a great, great time. Great weekend. Um, again, tell me about uh, if you, uh, the prices. Again, $10. $10. Get you a ticket for the entire weekend. So we're open um, Friday, what is it, noon to 8? Okay. Saturday, 10 to 6, and 11 to 4 on Sunday. Our silent auction will close it to you on Sunday. So okay. some great items in there as and well. And then mention uh, Santa. Santa oh, yes, Santa oh. will make his uh, appearance on Saturday morning. Um, 1030 to 1230, we'll have a photographer there, arts and crafts for the kiddos. So it'll be a good time. Yeah. I'm proud of y'all. Very, very proud of y'all, and I hope I hope people come out and know yeah. this this is one that people really wait for. Yes, and the cause is spectacular. Um, are you an art person? No. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes Kelly and I try to craft. It doesn't work very well. Yes. No. Because listen, I'm, and I just in talking with Megan, um, Megan has you know tubs and craft. I mean, she. she and so I just thought maybe art, maybe is that something? Well, I think the visual arts are so important and it's just a, a, such a wonderful outlet for people. You know, we, I can't draw, I can't paint, but I sure try, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but like, you know, it's a wonderful way for people to express themselves and to have access. It's so important for kiddos to have access to it here in Amarillo. So wow. we're, we're proud to be able to support that. I'm proud of y'all. Well, y'all could be doing anything. And I, I love, I love that this is something important. Well, we love you. Thanks yeah. for having well, us. Well, thank you. You listen, you come back. You okay. please, anytime. Anytime. The more the more the better, okay? okay. Kelly, forgot. Louisiana. Yes. I can't believe it. It's going to be a great time. Come Huck on. a Bay. Kelly Huck a Bay. <laughs> that is Louisiana. <laughs> well, that's my husband's last name. Okay. But. I like it. I think it's a, you know, it's a, it's a good name. Yes. So, Megan, thanks so much. Yeah. Always.